Hi there, Jamie here from Poodle Press. I hope you're very well. I'm going to show you how you can get complete control over your related products that are shown on the product page. So these products here, are, they will generally show here on most themes that you use in WooCommerce. And they're generally automatic, so you don't have a lot of control over them. They're basically based on um, categories or tags that you add. And they'll just show up here, but sometimes, many times, uh, you want greater control over those. So I'm going to show you how you can get 100% control and also some other really, really cool stuff. Uh, this is what I'm going to talk you through how to do. So I'm going to show you how to change what products to show in that space down there. I'm going to show you how you can hide certain uh, WooCommerce related products completely if you want to. I'm going to show you how to change the number of WooCommerce related uh, products. I'm going to show you how to change the title of uh, related products. That's a common question I get asked. I'm also going to show you how to change uh, the WooCommerce number of columns that are shown down there. I'm going to show you how you can change the product image sizes. I'm going to show you how you can add a really whizzy uh, WooCommerce related product carousel as well. And then I'm also going to show you how you can create a totally unique um, WooCommerce related product session. So sit tight. Here we go. Right. So the first thing to say is we are actually going to use a plugin to do this. We won't be touching any code whatsoever. So this is this is kind of cool. And uh, we're going to be using a plugin that we built called WooBuilder Blocks. Uh, which is a commercial plugin. We have a free trial available so you can try it out. And essentially what it does, it lets you build your WooCommerce product page using the new Gutenberg block editor. So it gives you complete control over the layout of the page and also what blocks, what elements of the page you want to bring into it. So let me show you this. I'm going to click on edit product up here. And you'll see at the moment, uh, this product is just a normal Woo pro uh, WooCommerce product. I've just entered some information on, so I've got to put a price here, and I've put you know the usual stuff, a product image. So at the moment, no different. But let's turn it into a uh, block-based product that we can actually manipulate. And you'll see over on the right here, I've got this a button. This is the plugin, We Build the Blocks, which I've already installed on this website. So you just click onto that button. And yes, I do want to use it for this product. And what this is going to do now, it's going to turn this into a block-based Gutenberg product, so I can actually start to lay out this product any way I like. So you, hopefully you can see you're going to get complete control over the layout of your product pages now. Now we've built a whole bunch of blocks in this Wood Builder panel down here that let you reconstruct your products. So we've got we've basically taken the WooCommerce product and taken out all the elements of it and created blocks of them. So now you can recompile these into the layout that you want. Uh, so you'll see all the blocks we've got in here. We've got product tabs and product rating, product title, uh, short description, product images. But we've also built some extra blocks, some really cool stuff like a product image carousel, lovely moving carousel that you can add. Uh, we've also got a cover block, a bit like the default Gutenberg cover block. And we've also built split testing. So you can, because we've componentized it and um, turned it into a Gutenberg uh, layout, then you can add extra functionality into it, which, which is one of the great things about blocks. So I'm just going to um, quickly build a product just by choosing one of our pre-built templates. And I'm just going to choose uh, the classic layout here. And you'll see it's just going to bring that layout into this grid for me. Uh, but these are all blocks. So when I click on these, you can see these are actually blocks that I could remove or add or change the layout if I wanted to. So if I wanted to add the increase the font size of this product title, it's really as simple as that. And you'll see um, if I click on the little plus sign here within WooBuilder, we've also got a related products block. And that's just going to basically recreate uh, the existing way that uh, related products are brought into your product pages. But this tutorial is all about getting even greater control on that. So that's the next bit I want to show you. I'm going to show you how you can highly customize your WooCommerce uh, related product section. Okay, so the first thing I want to show you is how you can change what related products you actually show down here. So as I said before, by default, those will be showing uh, products related by category or tag that you don't really have any control over. So let's uh, let's make that better. So I'm going to go to edit product here, and that's just going to load up my product. And you'll see we're still using the uh, one I built earlier, the Gutenberg one. This is the related products block that I added. Uh, now we could we could keep that there and change things like the colors and things like that, but I'm not going to. I want to get more control over this. So I'm just going to remove that completely. Then above that, I'm going to put a heading block. Okay, so this is my uh, heading and this is where I'm going to choose what products I want to show. Now we're going to use the um, WooCommerce blocks for this one. Now the, again the beauty of doing it this way is you could use any third-party plugin 
to um, create this layout down here. But I, within the WooCommerce blocks, they've got this really neat block, uh, which is called the hand-picked products block. And what that lets me do is just hand-pick which products I want to show in that particular section. Uh, and you can also, on the right here, you can change the number of columns. Uh, you can remove things like the product title or the product price or the add to cart um, button. And you'll see those will just add under here. So you see how now I've got complete control over the layout of this. Again, because I'm using the uh, the new uh, block editor, if I wanted to add other sections between those, I could. Absolutely, you can do anything you like. But let's just update that. And now we'll go and view the product. And there we go. There's my new related product section with the products that I've chosen myself. So I've got now complete control over what the products are showing on that uh, product page. Okay, next up, a very common question that I get asked almost daily is how can I hide the related products completely from my product page? So you, you want to remove all distractions from your potential customers. This is your key sales page and you don't want them clicking off to other stuff. Uh, so this is a really simple one now because we're using uh, we build the blocks to construct this product. I'll just go to edit products here and you probably guessed this one. All you have to do down here is go down here and we're going to delete uh, these blocks. You'll see I'm going to delete the title and then I'm going to delete the uh, related products part, um, block. Click view product and bang, there we've got a really simple and clean layout with no distractions uh, for your potential customers. So that's an easy way that you can remove uh, the WooCommerce related pro um, blocks area. Right, next up I'm going to show you how you can change the number of related products that you show on your sales page, on your main product page. And again, because we're using the block editor to construct these pages, we have complete control over what we show down there. So let me show you this. There's a few ways you can, you can do this. So currently this page is using the um, related products block, uh, but I'm gonna um, just jazz this up a little bit. So let's just add a heading block first. This is my heading. And then under here, I'm going to add um, eight products, which might be a bit extreme, but it shows you uh, what's possible. And again, I'm going to use, to start with, at least I'm going to use the WooCommerce hand-picked products block here. And then I'm just going to pick eight of these, two, three, four. You can see they appear up here as well, so you can see how many you've done. Five, six, seven, eight. So that's eight. And also over here on the right, I'm going to change the columns to four. And I'm going to remove the product title and the add to cart button and a few other things just to just to make it much cleaner. So there's my new related product section. Let's go and check that out. Pretty cool. Okay, so that's one way. The other way, um, and I mentioned this earlier, because we're using uh, Gutenberg to basically build this layout, we can use any other third party blocks that we want to. So let's just remove that one. Now we've built a, another plugin, um, a block-based plugin called Storefront Blocks. And within there are some really awesome, lovely layouts that we've created that you can bring into your pages, whether it's a product page or any other page on your site, be it your shop page or your category pages. And we've, we've got a whole bunch of these. I'm just gonna show you two quickly. So the, this one here is the product square grid. This is really cool. This lets you bring your products into a nice grid. And again, over here on the right, you can select which products you want to bring into that grid. Um, you can do things like change the, um, the columns and all that kind of cool stuff as well. But if you want a really, really, you know, modern layout, that's a really great option for you. Um, the other thing that you can do with this is you can make it full width. Uh, you can, we've built some um, mobile settings so you can keep this layout on mobile. And we've also added this really elegant drop shadow. And you can change things like the font colors and the font sizes and placement of all this stuff. You can also change the, uh, the grid gap within these so you, you hope you hopefully get the idea that you've got you know lots of lovely customization options with this and that's storefront blocks so it not only lets me change the number of uh, products related products but it lets me show a different layout down here as well so it's really kind of funky and you'll see as i squish this on a mobile you'll see that those grids maintain their aspect ratio because i chose i chose to do that over in the customizer or i could have allowed them to stack so now we're getting much, you know, a much more fancy layout for our related product section. Right, a few more things to show you regarding uh, related products. Um, and here's an example. Uh, a couple of common questions I get asked is one, how do you change the uh, related products title? And also how do you change the image sizes and the number of columns here? So let me show you that quickly. 
Uh, and again, just repeat myself, because we're using um, the block editor, this is really easy. So um, we've just added a heading essentially. Um, now the other thing to say is that you can actually create templates using WooBuilder blocks as well. So you can actually do this once, you'd only have to do this once and then it would be replicated throughout all your products. So you don't have to do it each time if you don't want to. Uh, but you can see how easy it is just to change the text. It's just like writing text essentially. And again, because we're using blocks down here, this is a storefront block, the product square grid. What we can do is just actually change uh, the layout. We just add uh, more blocks and then in the layout section over here, we just say, right, I want, um, rather than three columns, I want four columns. Sorry, f yeah, four columns. And that, that's gonna change the number of columns and automatically that's gonna change the size of your images without you having to worry about image sizes just by the nature of you changing the number of columns it's going to do that for you. Um, so that's how you can change the title of the uh, related product session, but also the image sizes and also the number of columns that you show. If you really want to go to town on your related products and you have some other options as well, I'm just going to show you two today. Uh, the first one is this slider. So you can add a, a related product slider to your product page, uh, but you can also add a product carousel. So often uh, I see requests for this and customers ask me about this one, so I'm gonna show you how you do it. And again, we're gonna we're going to be using um, some storefront blocks for this one, which is a plugin that we've built. So this is just the, let me start from scratch. This one is just, uh, if I go to storefront blocks here, uh, this one is called the product slider, just lets you bring a really elegant slider into your pages and you can obviously change the layout and which products you want to show in there. Uh, so that's the first one. Uh, the second one we've built is called the carousel. So in storefront blocks over here, we have a um, product carousel block, and that lets you bring your products in as a carousel, like this, and you see, and again, you can do things like show the price or um, hide certain stuff. So you've got complete control over what products you show and their layout, uh, but you'll see what it looks like. It's one of these cool carousels at the bottom. I would probably go back and hide the add to um, basket button if it was me, but you, you can see how it works. So uh, that's two ways that you can add uh, either the slider, a slider to your product page or a nice product carousel. Right, to finish off, I wanted to give you, um, to just leave you with some ideas of inspiration, hopefully, that um, you can really start to think out the box in terms of what your related uh, products page might look like. Now, this is a layout that I've just created. It only took me a few minutes. Uh, but it's a it's a much more interesting layout than um, the normal related product section that you would get on a product page. And it lets you you know describe your products and then highlight them over here in this beautiful uh, masonry grid. Let me just go into the back end uh, to show you how I built this. But it's essentially it's very simple. It's just using blocks again. I'll just I'll I'll just show you how this was done. Um, so the first thing that I used on this was the column block. So this this lets me create this. Um, basically column layout. Now that's just a block within Gutenberg. There's a block called the column block. Uh, but let me just search for it. Let's just show you this, that one there. And before you use it, you can choose uh, what proportions you use. And all I did, I, I chose uh, this one here, 3070. So that's how I created that section. And then within there, I added that block there. That's a heading block. These are just paragraph blocks. And this block here that I added in this second column is the masonry product grid block that we've created. Again, that is a block that comes with our um, storefront blocks plugin. So just within storefront blocks, you'll find a masonry product grid block. And that just lets you bring your products into this really cool masonry grid. And all I did is I put that in this second column over here. Um, so you can create these really beautiful layouts very quickly uh, because we're using the block editor now and you know it's a really really interesting and uh, stylized and I think you know very beautifully designed related product section which is going to be much nicer than the normal generic related product session so um, hopefully that gives you gives you some ideas uh, of how you can change your WooCommerce related pro um, <laughs> product area um, there's loads you can do so um, good luck thanks for watching and um, that's all for now